self-love. It's really the elixir of the immortal heart. Self-love is like an ocean and each of our hearts is a vessel. Fill it with self-love and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people we hold dear. But we ourselves must come first. So all I plead with you is this. Make your love of your true self perfect. Haven't you noticed that the people who love themselves always come across as loving, kind, and generous? They express their self-confidence through humility, forgiveness, and inclusiveness. Indeed, no boundary or barrier surrounds the heart of a person that loves their true self and others unconditionally. It's really all about falling in love with our true nature and sharing that love with those who appreciate our expressions and manifestations of that love instead of constantly seeking and searching for love to compensate for our own deficits in self-love. After all, dignity will only happen when we realize that having someone in our lives does not validate our worth. In order to find a happy ending with someone else, we first have to find it alone. Indeed, the most powerful relationship you will ever have is the relationship with yourself. And we must never get so desperate for love that we totally forget, but we can always find it, always within. If we don't love ourselves, then we won't be happy with ourselves. If we can't love ourselves, we can't love anyone else. We can't give the love we don't have ourselves. We can't make anyone love us without loving ourselves first. So forget all about self-image and self-judgment because it's really all about self-love. And no one teaches you that at any school. No one teaches us that if we accept and love ourselves, Nothing and no one can touch or harm our true nature, our immortal nature. Simply put, self-love is the elixir of an immortal heart. Namaste, and remember, one love.